going? All right. Escaping Ashigarami. So, put me an Ashi here. Ashi. Okay. Let's do this side for All right, so he's got me a regular ashy. Monday, we learned about the boot, right? Which is a stall, okay, it's a prevention, just to buy us time to do the escape. So we're gonna learn just the very basic one-on-one escape from Ashi Garami. But first, I gotta stop him from submitting me, leaning back into the ankle lock. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the boot. I'm gonna get a grip wherever I can. If this is no gi, I'm gonna grip back here. I'm gonna grip the arm if he's already got a locking grip here. Whatever, I need to get a grip, okay? And I'm gonna shove my heel forward, like a heel kick, as hard as I can. I'm gonna get my butt off the mat by placing my hand here, okay? Curl my toes back as hard as I can to prevent, to prevent the lock, okay? So this will buy me some time. I'm noticed that I'm turning my heel into his ribs, my toes out that way. I'm not booting this way, because I don't wanna get a heel hook. I'm booting this way, okay? Toes out, heel in, okay? So we're here now, all right? Once I boot, okay, and that danger has passed for the second, I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna turn my hip down, lift my butt up, and push that foot off, okay? Now, I can either hop over the foot or onto the foot. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, okay? Right now, we'll hop over the foot. So I hop my butt over his foot, okay? So now his foot's on this side of my butt. Now, I'm gonna take this, this leg, pummel it over, and I'm not gonna push kick him, I'm just gonna push him in the chest slash shoulder area to extract this foot, okay? Once we do that, I need to drop both feet back as quick as I can because if I leave this one out here, I'm just gonna get ashy garamid or ankle hooked or ankle locked or something on this one. So push them out, come to here, and then we can do our technical stand up right away. Okay? So, okay. Ashy garamis me. Okay? We're in ankle lock danger, right? I'm gonna grab here, pick my butt up, and scoop my hips forward just like a uh, forward hip escape. Okay? pointing my toes out, turning my heel into his body so he doesn't heel hook me. Now that that is no longer a threat, I'm gonna take at the toes, turn my hip down, okay? And then this time, I'll hop onto the foot, okay? Onto the foot makes it so that he can't re-attack this other foot here, okay? So that's, that's the benefit of doing that one, but you're a little less out of the lock. So the pro, pro and con there, right? Then we're gonna take here, I'm gonna push, extract that foot, put this one down, technical stand up, and then whatever pass you want to do. Good. Let's do one on the other side so we can see. Oh. And then, he's got me here, he's falling back. I'm in danger, Will Robinson. So I'm gonna grab this here, plant the hand, boot in, okay? Keep pushing my heel forward, curling my toes back. Take this hand, push it, pop over. Sorry about your toes. Come here, extract, okay? Get that foot out of there. And then just come, whatever, pass we want to come to, okay? Pretty simple but effective technique. Simple ones are usually the best. Um, can you see it? No, any questions? Body positioning or anything? No, all right. Partner up, five times each, one, two, three. Do both sides. My question is, 